Good morning gamers, welcome back to Banished Souls, this is your Captain Cryptic Gaming. So, we are here at the Helm Empire, I want to show you what we've been accomplishing so far. So this has kind of been a journey, like most of us have been making, so we've got a few things to uh, go ahead and fund here. Now as you can see, we have started to bring some of these 8s up to 10s, we're looking for the most connection points that we're getting here and we're bringing those up slowly so we have some tens over here we have another one over here and looking at the cost of what it is to fund these you know it's one of those things is it something that you want to uh, pursue yourself uh, I can tell you eights are manageable but it'll take one ten could fund three eights in silver so that's something you're gonna have to to uh, determine for yourself so we're going to come in here I want to upgrade our smuggler skills so we're getting a lot of this taken care of here but there was another one I wanted to look at for sure and I may have already completed it yeah so we did that was going to be for the red isle connection so we're gonna go ahead and finish this smuggler skill what this is going to do is most of those uh, most of these contracts that you can pick up over at the order registry and even the supply network you're going to see that it, some of them will get cheaper some of them are going to have more pieces of eight available when you get it and it's also going to help with those helm materials as well that you pick up so i'm going to do a little deal, roving deal definitely want some sugar cane i really need a little bit of everything so we're going to get as much as we can here so then of course we got the poppies as well Okay, so it looks like it's only going to let me carry the three contracts this time. So, sometimes you'll get three, sometimes you'll get four. It just depends. Now, we put a video out about the easiest way to get silver. And then uh, we had some questions about, well, you know, what do you think the most effective way is of getting silver? This, to me, seems to be the most effective way to get that silver product, or to get the product, sell it for silver. Uh, now, maybe you don't have your helm upgrade enough where you can make the gold products. Definitely work on doing that. Uh, you can get it to a level 7 so you can do the gold skull rum at least. And then up into Taloc, you don't have to have Taloc unlocked. You can actually start building those products there. So, we're going to move up here to this area. We're going to grab this. I tell you I've been enjoying the game I'm looking forward to we're coming up on a weekend so uh, we're gonna be doing some pretty big farming raids and events and stuff as a lot of our guys are starting to get off work they're gonna have a weekend off so tonight we're gonna be kicking off some of those mass farm events that we do in our group so that's gonna be a lot of fun uh, but I'm looking forward to hopefully we're going to get some new content next week we'll see uh, they moved the pest this past week and then added a little smuggler mission to get you from uh, Blackwood where you're gonna go in and deal with the plague fleets and all that kind of stuff so not a whole lot of stuff there are some pretty new interesting looking investigations that you can run that's going to give you different types of cosmetics so i think i'm going to run some of those today before we get into our big farm event this evening and see what we can locate in that so i want to make sure that i dump out my cargo stuff that i don't need right now because i don't want to become over encumbered by this product i know it says you're picking up 108 but when you go in and you destroy the ship you typically get a lot more than that so I don't care about the treasure maps and all that stuff but we're not going to toss it yet we'll hang on to it who knows we might find that we might stumble across I usually will keep a couple but if I get into a farm mode I will dump all of that stuff because I would rather stack weight than run out of space on my ship okay so our helm liaison looks like he's straight up in the front. Like I say, if you come up to him and you just buy it from him, you're going to uh, just lose silver, but you'll get products. But if you come up here and you just go ahead and nuke him out of the water, you're going to get the products. You're going to get anything he's carrying. It's going to be more products than what you had ordered. And then you're not having to pay him for those products. Of course, you get the mark for death thing from the helm that doesn't last long, maybe 20, 30 minutes, not a big deal. We're going to knock that out real quick and get these production companies running our refineries and stuff get those keep them running uh, that's the main thing is you have to keep those running if you want to be able to run those high level tens uh, it helps with the eights but it's going to be something you have to do if you're doing a lot of tens I don't plan on doing everything into a tent, just some major connection hubs all the stuff on the inner parts of the aisles I'm, I'm not going to even worry about that I don't think
And of course we got marked for death. No big deal. Pretty sure we grabbed that resources he dropped. So you'll see the numbers flash up like 144. If you can remember early on, they weren't selling that much stuff in there. So I'm hoping that what that's going to end up doing, let's check her cargo, is increase the amount that we got. Yeah, so 324. So yeah, we're, we're, we're still getting that double, sometimes almost triple uh, production whenever you do that as far as your production materials and stuff. So that is a great way to do things, man. So, and that, that's kind of what I'm looking at if you're wondering how I'm do, doing my helm what I'm doing with the missions and stuff that's basically what I'm doing while it is going to seem like you're spending more to get this empire built up as far as even your eights getting things leveled up getting those books it's it's definitely worth it because once you get those up it doesn't take you there to just to pull back in what you've put into it it's a really good investment on the helm I hear people hollering Looks like there's a couple ships back there. Not going to be anything to, to worry about. Guys, okay, so then we are going to take, we're going to fast travel back over to St. Anne. We could do it the, the long way and save a little silver, but like I said, it's to me, this is probably the most effective way to keep your silver going so you can keep those factories running. Uh, we come back in from a hole earlier and Seemed like we pulled in about 32,000 off that haul, so that wasn't too bad. That was collecting before we went to bed last night about 1, 1 o'clock in the morning and then got up earlier today and pulled those in. That's always nice. Now, the 10s were not quite full, obviously, uh, but most of the 8s were, were already filled up. So we just have to kind of see how long it takes for those to fill up. I do believe it's going to be worth it on the major connection hubs. I don't see enough of a difference for it to justify myself in uh bringing them all up to tens that's just going to take even more silver and i don't i don't really need the eights for anything in particular so all right so we're going to go over here to the refiner or distillery i'm sorry or distillery make sure everything's still running here we'd put in some white skull earlier so that'll make some gold skull now and i'm going to go ahead and convert that over to gold skull Mm hmm okay so that must have been white skull gin I had made up that's what it was okay so we'll go ahead we're going to convert this over 429 is what we have of the gold skull already then we got 339 there you know I think I'm gonna make the white skull gin again maybe <coughs> let's let's make the rum I try to carry uh, each product some gold skull of each one and then so I'll make the white skull so I can convert that over and next time I have to go out and, and charge all these bases I should have plenty of gold skulls so it's, it's depending on how you want to do it I try to make sure that there's always some gold setting back you can sell the white it only sells for a hundred dollars a bottle instead of the 250 so it's up to you how you want to do that but those are some great ways to uh, progress into the empire building method of this stuff so i did want to check a few things why we're we're in there on our empire because there's a couple more books i've not really done anything with on the desk here so juniper berry processing this is for the coast of africa connection so this could potentially actually bring up those major connection points we have like I say I don't I don't see doing the Indies right now I have heard there's two or three hubs up there that's def worth, uh, definitely worth looking into so uh, but then you got to pay the 5,000 to, to get into it and then you got to wait for that location to come up and there's still about two more I want to catch over here in the coast of Africa so there's a total of five you definitely want to make sure that you get and to find out, just look at the shipping routes where most of the shipping routes are coming into and living out of. And those are the key places you want to get. Now, definitely grab anything you can when it comes up. But those are the ones you want to focus on actually bringing up in, in the levels. Boy, these start to get kind of pricey when you get up into the topper tier here, don't it? 
Okay, so that looks like one more. All right. So then that's got that completed. So then we have the Dominion of Renfa we can bring up as well. So it looks like this is the last one that we have. This is East Indies Connection. So I'm not too worried about doing that right now. That may be something that we, we look into here in the next few days while we're bringing some of these up into tens. But hope this video has been informative to you. So you all have a wonderful day.